An arithmetic sequence has first term equal to 5 and eighth term equal to 54, and we need to find its common difference. Well, let's start by moving the question to the side, like so. The trick for answering this type of question is to really pick up on the information that we're given. First of all, we need to find this arithmetic sequence's common difference, d. And we're told that its first term is equal to 5, and its eighth term is equal to 54. And what I tend to do is make a note of the information that's given, so that was the first term, so I'll say u sub 1, which equals to 5, and the eighth term, u sub 8, equals to 54. Since both of these bits of information are about the values of a specific term of our arithmetic sequence, that suggests that we need to work with the formula for the nth term. And we've seen that already. Remember, the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by u sub n, which equals to the first term, u sub 1, plus n minus 1, times d, where the d that we have here is the common difference we're after. Now, since we know that the first term of the sequence equals to 5, we can replace this u sub 1 by 5, and state that the formula for the nth term is equal to 5 plus n minus 1 times d. And that's that first bit of information used, so I put a little ticky mark next to it to say that I've already used that. Looking at the second bit of information again, remember that was that the 8th term is equal to 54? Well, that tells us that if we were to replace every n we see inside this formula by 8, then the result should equal to 54. So let's see, if I replaced n by 8 here, this would be 8 minus 1, so that's 7, and it would look something like this. That would be u sub 8, the 8th term, equals to 5 plus 7 times d. Now, replacing this u sub 8 I wrote here by 54 leads us to an equation for d. Indeed, we'll have 54 equals to 5 plus 7d. And in an exam, you would really want to box that result. That's the equation you're going to have to solve. And so quickly solving that equation will lead us to the common difference d. So that's 54, which equals to 5 plus 7d. And subtracting 5 from both sides of this equation leads us to 49, which equals to 7d. Now dividing both sides by 7 leads to 49 over 7 equals to d, which leads to 7 equals to d, or rather d equals to 7. And we're done. And we could finish by rewriting the sequence's formula, replacing d by the result we just found. And so that would be u sub n equals to 5 plus n minus 1 times 7. And there we go.